How are you doing? What a beautiful voice you just heard there. Yes, we are back with another interview, as you all know. This is that segment we bring in a guest in studio, and this guest, Anakonga Namazuri, as always. Kavile Meskia. But we get to know the, the artist even better. Kingsley, mm. uh, how are you? I'm not okay. Why? <laughs> Anyway, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, that, this is our guest for today. Mm -hmm. And it was Sky Lucky. Sky Lucky. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, wale wanya najua iyo ngo maingine ndio wanaza kwa kidogo confused, lakini siyo iyo. Ni Sky, S-K-E-Y. Alright. Sky. 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 Sky Lucky. Alright, welcome. Welcome sana apa Y254 studio. Na we want to know you better, you know. <sighs> Uh, you want to give us that thing, eh? <laughs> eh, we see you. So, when did this music journey start, ideally? Like, Ulianza? Uh, from recording or? Recording, the passion, when you realized, ha, this is, this is what I want to do. When, when was this? Uh, firstly, thank you for the opportunity. Um, music journey, I loved music from childhood. I loved dancing first, mm -hmm. so my music was propelled from dancing. Me loving music was propelled from dancing. Mm -hmm. So I started refi re refixing me people's songs mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. I was in a school where we couldn't do, we couldn't do secular. All right. So what you can do is, uh, I loved secular, so I'd transform some secular music to gospel words. Wow. Uh, then I transferred in the other school, I started performing in internal events, mm -hmm. but people's songs. And then afterwards is when I was like, yeah, I can do music. But before I was doing, I was mostly focusing on football. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, it's interesting you've said that you were forced, I believe you were forced, right? Because you could not sing in secular. Yeah. So you had to translate it to gospel. Yeah. How? How are you doing that? The car lyrics ni chafu ni chafu, you know. You know what I mean? But uh -huh. creative is creative. Hey. I think there are some people who happen to like some beats that are from secular and they... Ah. Plus I was in a family where a lot of people are so into Christ. So <laughs> actually they didn't know I'll be a secular artist. Mm -hmm. But when I went to the studio, I was struggling a lot writing gospel. Automatically, it just became secular. Mm -hmm. it, it couldn't come. Gospel just couldn't. So I released my first song, and they were like, no, that's not you. So I had to release another one. Then they were like, OK. Who but they you weren't OK. Your family. Oh, okay. Family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So are they supporting you now? Because, bro, you are doing great out here. <laughs> I'm a kidogo. My music journey is me. All right. It's, just it's me. I. Uh, I've never, I've never gotten support from family. They never wanted me to do music, mm -hmm. but I started did business management. So after words, I just, I just called and I sing a deny music, mm -hmm. sing a watch music. I just loved music too much. Mm -hmm. mm. I can tell this is your passion, you know, and um, I'm curious, is that the reason why you wrote the song, My Life? Yeah, my life comes, okay, my mom is late. Mm -hmm. My mom passed when I was five, and um, I don't know my dad, but I had, he died. Uh, so my life is the struggle, because I struggled so much with, with being from a, well, my background wasn't bad. I can say when I was growing, I didn't struggle so much than when I was, I got done with high school. So it was too much struggle that I didn't find was to be necessary because my family is okay. Mm -hmm. But since it's my career and I have no option and there's no one to help, so I just had to go hard. And uh, actually my first and second song I did, I hooked, I've hooked for like seven, it's the longest thing I've done, seven months. Hooking. Hooking for music. I, I did my first and second song through hooking. Mm -hmm. Audios, videos is when I had gotten a job with Taskies. So I was able to get good pay and be able to do my first and second video. Mm -hmm. But actually, this song is more of comeback. Because even earlier, I couldn't also be myself. Mm -hmm. Because to go to Nambiwa, like right now, the way I look and before is different. 
because you uh, unapata money and act ka your manager is like for you to get much funds for you to do this and that you have to have feminine energy but that wasn't me so i had to force it for some time in which i couldn't do it after the end of 2019 so i had to stop music for some time started managing artists and uh, uh, fashion business then i was like now it's time for me to come back because i've gathered myself i've accepted me i've known how to deal with myself and be like here yeah, now i can do my music because that was the only problem i was like if i become me can i be able to do music again or people will take it differently you get mm -hmm. but i thank god because uh, the love i've been receiving since i started being me and the comments there's no negativity so yeah i'm good all right um, umesema, you finally accepted who you are. Mm. How, how is that, you know, how do you come to that conclusion? Was it a fight that you I had? I was fighting against myself because mm. I have to please family because they don't like this. Uh, there's fans at the same time. There's friends. So at some point you are being who you are not because of people you get. Mm -hmm. In which at the end of the day, it's your life. So since I was the one doing for myself almost everything from after high school, it reached a point where I'm like, yo, let me just be me. At the, at the end of the day, I'm the one doing everything. It's not like even if I'm trying to please family or whatever, they are helping me in anything. Mm -hmm. So I, I just took my time. And yeah, we're here today. All right. yeah. Maybe you can just tell guys where to find you, you know, on social media as we, as we proceed. My social media handles are Skylucky, just Skylucky. S K E Y L U C K Y. Skylucky, almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. Actually, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kinsley, you got <coughs> Bono any guza guza. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's going on? <laughs> Whatever you said, when you, when you met to me, mother, that's deep. Uh, do you have any word to, to the parents that don't support their, their kids in what they do? when it comes to, to supporting art okay unajua we are in a very critic generation where yeah. sometimes we study too much and we end up not even pursuing what we studied yeah. and also unapata ujifanyi most of the people who are in universities and stuff unapata wanafanya because that's what their parents want so that simply means we are not allowed to be ourselves from, mm. from childhood because maybe your brother became a lawyer, your, your other brother is a business person. Say they expected you to, to go through the same line. And Kenya neza sema ukiangalia difference ya yetu and other countries, zenye unapata their children are being supported, is because unalan your children when they are young. Most of us, sisi, watu wa 1990s hapo before we get 2000, we, we weren't free with, with, with our parents when we were growing. So, unapata mzazi ya kikuja sitting room, unakimbia bedroom, una, una get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, una your time, your relation with your parents. And the moment you don't have parental relation, or a parent doesn't have a relation with a child, it's hard for you to know even what your child wants. Unaanza kusema ni mtundu, una, ukipata anasikiza music sana, unaanza kusema sijui, ataki, akitaka kuenda kucheza football sana, unasema apana, unafa. Because you don't know what their passion is and what's important ni passion, by the way. Because art has a lot. Art can't be bought. The, something that is within you that you don't struggle reading like for years, that just comes naturally, is something a lot of people have to treasure, you get. Mm -hmm. So if you take that serious, it's easy to make a lot and it can change someone's life. Some, to Mona, a lot of talents have changed a lot of background situations. So that's something a lot of parents should consider. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, on the same path, Mazi, on BAPR, education is very important. Mm -hmm. but yeah, by the so way. You and I could become a complementary vote to your talented dean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sindia. It's yeah, very by the true. way, Pia Mini Lisoma. At the end of the day, so. It's very important. You Having know knowledge, that. because that's a music industry. You need it. Be like your knowledge, bro. Really, okay, you'll find a person who has money to go to the studio, has money for the video, but where are you going to put it out? That's an investment, because music is an asset. 
So the moment you don't know where you're going to put it for you to get something back from it, then there's nothing you're doing. You're just investing for zero. That's all about our Saniwengi, work on a talent, but in a point they drop because they didn't know why they were doing it. They are do some are doing it for fame, some are doing it out of uh, desperation, unapata una sign contracts, uh, <coughs> labels, and these labels won't even take you anywhere because there's something I believe if an artist didn't reach a certain level, and this is something I'll always tell any artist I come through, always in a sign, call your label, kama, ukufika a certain level, because you won't make me reach there, whether we like it or not. Utatakatu ni kwechini yako. get? So no, no, that's the difference with TZ Diamond. Every artist in the label reaches somewhere, because he has reached there. But the moment an artist hasn't, no one has a contract, they to make a fail. I'm saying you're being desperate, being desperate. Then in a fika point, because you you don't want to hustle for your music, you don't want to do anything. Okay, drop you are you're going back to zero. You're starting a new YouTube channel because you don't have knowledge. Na izi vitu zote kila mtu saya kona access to internet. You get it's all about research, but we're too lazy for that. Mm -hmm. So it's only true. Knowledge of music is very. There's a lot in music because there are some people who are making money even without doing videos mm -hmm. in music. So you can even be doing that song, you upload it. After two months, you do your video if you're smart. But to King Oja, Tiju, no, 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 to Amo Natakapia, who owns an level Siako, because even this big artist started from somewhere. So if you want put at the back of your mind, you have to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talking about knowledge, kuna mani likuwa na skiza, mm -hmm. nilikuwa na, na something on kwa social media too. Kuna msani, very big in, in, in the US, ni mbigi sana, but saizi, then alikuwa mbigi, ni vile saizi sema jina yake, hata hawa kusema, lakini kuna mani lipiga research, ni kena nekajone nani. So, walikuwa nasema kuna daktari flani, eh, ya ni daktari, ya yeah, he has nothing to do with music, ajui kitu, ya si msani, ya si, si manager, ya si nani, lakina na kuna royalty za umse. Yes, ata si hivyo. Kuna wasani mbaka leo, labels zina, especially uki ingia kwa 360. Unajua watu wana sign contract, na ujua ata type of contract you're signing also. Yeah. Because there's 360, there's 180, the, kuna difference of how your management is handling you. Na uki sign 360, that's like selling your, your, your soul. Your soul, mad. You get, because yeah. the moment these people drop you, you have nothing and you can do nothing. Na unapata hiyo lebo li nakuambia uki toka hapa, you won't record, you won't do anything for a number of years. Now you know something like talent, ukienda inje, uambiwe uwezi ingiata studio kufanya anything. And it's a rule, if you do it, it's... Ata hizo studio zinajua. You get. Ukienda kwa studio, wana It's a problem, unapata. So, unapata sayi leto unataka kurudi. Kuna wasani pia wa Kenya wali go through that, I won't mention names. But unapata sayi leto unataka kurudi kwa game, maybe unatry hata kukuingia into gospel. Uwane kaita kubali, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work because uli rush. Mm -hmm. Music ni safari. Mm -hmm. Angalia sauti soul. Angalia kina nyashi. These people have taken 10 kina diamond. It's a journey. If you don't want it to be a journey, there's nothing fun about it. Mm -hmm. You have to struggle. All right. Um, seems like you already have, you know, a proper strategy of how you manage your, your work, your music, mm -hmm. your music work or career. I'm curious to know, because I've seen you on the streaming sites. I'm curious to know, are these streaming sites beneficial to you as an artist? You know, since Zimeko introduced 2015 to Hadisai, as an artist, umecheki, at least kuna change. Uh, is it streaming, streaming sites in a letter? I'm a, also to for school download these apps, <laughs> you know, for the sake of it. Hey, is what under life. Me at a siangaliangi YouTube, by the way. Really? <laughs> I don't look, I don't focus with YouTube so much the way I focus with Spotify, Shazam, Deezer. Apple, Deezer, mm -hmm. you get. Mm -hmm. I focus with these digital platforms because they can pay me even before any artist knows that my song is on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Then I do a video, you'll think it's a new song, but I had uploaded it some time back. Because I can remember in 2019 I survived with music payment. Hey, so, by the way, you, you, you are doing so well on uh, Boomplay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do so well in Boomplay. I was doing so. I was working with uh, Ziki. Mm -hmm. So I can say it paid me for you. Nice. For you. And this, this platform's by the King is a poor. Okay, on a fans too, a fitty. 
unaweza lipwa monthly na unalipa rent na unafanya nini you no get, way artist get there's uh, there's money mister unaona vile wanasema anga kuna do Kenya mhm mm kuna do ni wewe tu hey. you're, the, you're the only determinant because people always expect too much when you're not so big because i can tell you kuna wasani wa big wenye walikuwa na name tunaona tu kwa tv na wanapata shows but their songs are not in these platforms so do wanategemea wana te, wana ni shows but the moment there's no ni season hakuna show so una sota so unapata msanii at some point i think mwana wasanii wa kitambo kidogo wenye walikuwa hit but sai wame rudi nyuma ama unapata wa mengi into drugs wa mengi into because of depression mm -hmm. because of pressure you get because ujaga the your knowledge na utaki na unataka pia ikuwe rais juu lebo yako inakwambia anga tu ingia studio oh kesho kutu watu kona video oh lafu unaona tu ngoma iko kwa epo liko wapi na ujui hata imeingiaje you don't even ask yourself that how that's your that's <laughs> si getting if lem sania afikiri <laughs> kwa <laughs> alright <laughs> hey let me tell you if trust me ukiuliza mm -hmm. ukiuliza mwenye ana ku manage how they put their your music there they won't answer you mm -hmm. They won't answer you. All right. Let me tell you something. If you're watching The Bounce today, right here, right now, and you missed on that particular beat, Penye Mumeambiwa, what to do as an artist, well, we're not going to repeat that, okay? Mm. Point blank. Yeah. But you're point blank. So in short, ni, kifanya ngoma, jiulize uneka wapi. Ata ukienda tu wandike kwa Google, where to put music, where to distribute my music. It will answer you. Music distribution. Yeah. I think that's very important. It will answer you. If you want Kenyan platforms, they are there. Mm -hmm. If you want to work with outside platform, platforms, they are there. Mm -hmm. You get as long as you're a citizen somewhere, as long as you have your ID, mm -hmm. as long as you have everything to do with the documentation, there's nothing impossible. All right. Please remind people where they're going to find you, you know, on the socials, in case Mtwa may miss your beat and is a kulizaji. You know, neza kupataja kulize yo swali. Ya music distribution sana sana. Skei Lucky everywhere. Hmm. At Twitter, Skei Lucky. Everywhere, Skei Maybe Lucky. spell it. S-K-E-Y, L-U-C-K-Y. All right. The lioness. The lioness mwenyewe. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, watch out to inge back to the music. What song would you like us to play? You know. Definitely the new one. The new yeah. one. Yeah. You, you, yeah. By the way, that song. Mm -hmm. eh. Also, artists need to take time in their songs. Eh? Yes. Uh -huh. You need to take time because you need to know what you're putting out here can be listened to. I struggled with that. I struggled with that. He knows that. <laughs> <laughs> so the moment when I release music, yangu, see, nijunajua. my music is so unfamiliar with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You get, but it's something they can listen. But because kuna watutu washawe kuhaondo anafanga kuapa juu, you won't be listened to. So the only way you can look for some something for yourself is just research and eat while you're seated in your house mm -hmm. or if you want to work you kuna mtu anaka kwa nyumba na ana ani whether kuna mtu kazi yake tu ni kusukuma mziki na ngoja end month hey uh, please ni peni hizo <laughs> skills na kwenye mnatoa hizo majobs uh, future prospects future prospects uh, what should future you expect from you is, um, what you've seen there is a lot of me mm -hmm. And there's going to be a lot of me. Mm -hmm. You get? Yes. Uh, regardless, though, there's a lot of limitation in the industry, but at our tea level, I'll be going to my legs, legs will bounce. I'll say, "Ma, eh, so long as he delete he like it to gram, I can say, 'Ma, it's time for him to do music that can go out there.' Because I should do yes, beat him being a star here. He still needs to go there, out there." Mm -hmm. So the mo so sometimes you can start early if you want because ushajua but okay some hiyo ndo kitu inaitwa unaona kama mimi nili slug behind because i was pleasing people because this is what my people wanted but at the end of the day kuna fans wengi sana wanataka kunisikiza hapo nje and that's the only way i can make it you get so what do i do i have to explore music is for everybody not for, for specific people all right great you know what to do just stick around there. We'll be back with another interview. There's a, another guest in studio. And of course, Kingsley got you on the music. My name is Karen Jessa. Oh. Yes, it. Hey. Kingsley. Right now. <laughs>